that's how small the electric motor is. The braking system, regenerative braking system. And then this is the battery pack. Here's a cutaway view of the electric motor, the gearbox. This one's the rear, which is a little bit bigger. I think it's maybe like 160 kilowatts, and then the front is a little bit smaller. I think it's like 125 kilowatts, maybe. But you can see the coils are significantly smaller around the motor. And then direct drive, this one's a little bit more taken apart. This is a great look inside the battery. So there's something else that's really cool about the, the new Neutron battery cooling system. They're actually wa they have a water cooling jacket around the whole thing. You can see this is a water inlet and a uh, electric solenoid to control the water flow and you got water out and it's coming around here this and these fins are for cooling and then you got water it's underneath this whole thing and it's separated from separate from the batteries obviously so you've got water cooled a water cooled housing around the batteries which is why basically everybody's battery technology is the same but you have to get so one of the, one of the way you're, ways you're going to get an advantage is to keep your batteries cooler then they're going to go longer so they cool the batteries, and then also that same water is running to cool the electric motors, the cases around the motors. So they're going to get a little bit more performance out of this than, say, a Tesla. So here you see water inlet, solenoid to open that. You can get a good view of the fins here, the cooling fins, and then down the side, too. And then actually, they did a cutaway here, so the water flows through there. 